to break down the science of the poker tell, we arranged a heads up game between pros David Oppenheim and Ali Eslami. We wire each player with sensors, hook up each to a polygraph, and enlist a body language expert to help us look for clues. Play some poker. Under pressure, a player can undergo several physical changes that an expert opponent might pick up. Subtle fluctuations in breathing rate and even a change in the opponent's pulse can be detected. I wear the high collared shirt because it covers the neck, which is where you can see a lot of the pulse. And a rising heart rate can lead to pupil dilation. When the breathing rate goes up, the heart rate will go up, which will make the pupils dilate. Pupil dilation, when the pupil gets larger, usually indicates contentment, while pupil constriction indicates stress. And the difference can be as small as a tenth of an inch. But good players can pick up changes that small. That's one reason many players wear sunglasses to hide that telltale dilation. Another poker tell is the smile. It's very difficult to fake a real smile. The major muscles used to create a genuine smile draw the corners of the mouth up. An artificial smile, on the other hand, uses different muscles, which pull the mouth outward. But machines aren't fooled by fake smiles. Our polygraph expert recorded that when he was bluffing, Ollie actually stopped breathing. David's tell was something harder to catch, electrodermal activity, essentially sweat. According to our polygraph analysis, David's body pumped roughly three to four times as much fluid to his extremities when he was bluffing. For over 95% of the match, David had a lower heart rate, lower skin temperature, and a smaller deviation in breathing rate than Ali. So it might not be a coincidence, he took home the trophy. For ESPN Sports Science, I'm John Brinkus.